Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Let's shift gears here and let's talk about a major development in the world of finance. I made an earlier video here online in which I talked about Bitcoin. Now let me just point out that for all the problems Mt. Gox has had, I believe that the robustness of Bitcoin, the fact that Bitcoin even now is at greater than $500 a coin. Also, the lowered transactional costs of Bitcoin, transactional costs that quite frankly, pre-existing financial institutions, banking institutions cannot match when transporting money internationally really should have by now convinced you that Bitcoin is here to stay. Right? I understand there are going to be critics, particularly people who stand to lose from the evolution of currency to an online form. But what you need to do is you need to focus on the utility of the technology, the advantages it offers over pre-existing technologies, right? And the fact that, quite frankly, the convenience as well as the decentralized nature of Bitcoin render it vastly superior to paper fiat currency. Well, now you've had a further evolution. You need to keep an eye on this. There's a new coin that's dropped. It's called Dark Coin. And what Dark Coin has done is it has provided a level of anonymity to financial transactions. It's really electronic currency like Bitcoin with anonymity attached. Now understand, it has already been released. You can pick it up today at various exchanges. You can find out more about the coin at darkcoin.io. Right? Understand there's another coin, zero coin that's supposed to come out down the road. But this is here today. And apparently it's a bit more efficient in some ways than the more mathematically complicated zero coin. Right now, <clears throat> let's be real for a second. To the crowd that right now is watching this video and is saying, well, why do you need anonymous transactions if you're not engaged in illegal transactions? To that crowd, all I can say is, you've got to be kidding me. Understand, there are many legal transactions. For example, surprisingly, many people online, at least surprisingly to some, <clears throat> are customers of adult entertainment sites. Right? Those people might not want to leave their name and address or credit card numbers on those sites for a host of reasons. People sometimes want to pursue their entertainment privately. That doesn't mean that the adult entertainment site is operating illegally. It just means that the customer wants a level of confidentiality. <clears throat> Let me also point out too that there are many people engaged in confidential financial transactions that don't want them made public. That's why you had an entire banking industry spring up in places like the Cayman Islands and Switzerland. Now, if you didn't complain about the fact that people are banking in jurisdictions like the Cayman Islands that offer a greater level of confidentiality, then there really shouldn't be a complaint to the introduction of an anonymous electronic currency. Right? Keep in mind, too, that an argument can be made that many tra cash transactions 
are done anonymously. Right? You buy the paper in the morning, you give the vendor a coin, you get back the paper, the vendor might not know your name, you might not know any personal information from the vendor. Right? You buy things at stores, you pay in cash, no one exchanges personal information. Right? There's no reason why an electronic currency shouldn't be able to give you at least the level of anonymity that you get in a cash transaction. So for those of you looking for a cryptocurrency that actually provides you with anonymity, look no further than darkcoin.io. It's one option it's on the market today this coin has just been released really it's up to you to research the coin research the level of security let me point out that it is robust research the legitimacy of the exchanges on which this coin is traded keep track of the market value of the coin on sites like coin marketcap.com and just be aware that the trans that the technology exists okay the cryptocurrency space right now too is really a major threat to the existing world order of government issued currency and financial central planning you need to understand that whether you like it or not, technology, quite frankly, is transferring power away from central government bankers to the consumer. Let me hear from you. Let us know if there are any other currencies that you feel the people watching this video should know about by listing those currencies in the comment section to the video. Full disclosure, I have some Bitcoin, I have some MaxCoin, I have some dark coin. All of the coins offer their own advantages. If you're looking for anonymity, I believe dark coin at least should be investigated. Let me hear from you. Leave your comment for me here online, and of course, visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.